Uh, this is just a temporary tutorial until we get the 2009 tutorials up. What I want to do is talk about uh, using multiple joints uh, to avoid candy wrapping and to split out some of the rotations on the wrist here. So what you probably have seen if you have a three joint chain like this, which is standard, uh, I call it a control rig joint, I can rotate my wrist up and down, that works just fine, but when I rotate uh, my wrist in X, uh, one of the problems is I'm having localized rotations right here, and really when you rotate your arm, uh, for one, this is a little bit ugly, and for two, uh, you'd like it to kind of travel up the arm a little bit, uh, like your real arm, and the, in the real arm you have two joints there that overlap over to the, the radius and the ulna, but uh, just to help it to not lose some volume and things like that. Now, the main problem right now is if I try and do that by waiting, uh, I'm going to totally screw up my waiting for the wrist in the X or in the Y and Z directions if I start painting for X. So the standard uh, fix for that is to actually put a, another joint right in here. And what that joint is going to do is help the rotations fall off down the arm. Now, the one thing you'll get with that if you only have one joint there is what we call candy wrapping and what happens is uh, we get this isolated rotation right at that point and you start to lose a bunch of volume. If you look at this cube here I I'm losing volume and if I push it even more it starts to squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. It's really really ugly. Uh, with smooth bind it's almost always going to happen uh, no matter how many uh, things you put on there but um, what we can do is try and help that a little bit by adding a few more joints in uh, so what I'm going to do is go look at my third option, which is a uh, I call it the bind joint. And basically that has three joints in between. If this is the elbow, I have three forearm joints, and then my wrist. Then I also do the same thing for my bicep up here. And when we rotate these all together, we get an... Oops, i got to select them. There we go. We get an, a nice fall off. And we also, as you notice, I don't have to twist as far. If I want four joints to all go to 90 degrees. I only need to twist them, uh, I'm not going to do the math right now, but around 20 degrees. Let's see what that looks like. It's a little more than that. But you see we get a much nicer rotation. We don't lose our volume like we were before and if we wanted to paint that up a little bit we could have a really nice uh, arm going on. The other thing too is if I rotate the wrist I still have my nice uh, min localized rotations for the wrist in Z and Y axis so you can get a nice rolling wrist that can still bend up oh, there it is at the wrist itself which is more realistic and actually just kind of seems a little bit nicer 